Hello, and welcome to the next installment of Tired of the Crawled Auto Repair. I'm your host, Bob, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to take off your belt, your serpentine belt, and put it back on again. The first thing that you need to do is draw yourself a little diagram. See that? On my particular, if you do this before you do it, if you look at the way the belt travels around the pulleys, it's easier to do this job. See, it goes around the outside of the outside tube, inside of the belt tensioner pulley and the stationary, okay, and then around the outside. So it's outside, inside, and outside. Let's give it a go. Just to show you how easy this is to do. You take your 19 millimeter wrench and you put it around your belt tensioner. Okay. And then you take another wrench that's near the same size and you use it to torque off that, that other wrench. And then you take it and push it forward and just about every car on the planet has this feature. That popped off pretty easily, right? And then we just go about taking everything off. Everything means everything. And you go ahead and get your belt out of there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the same belt back on here. Because it does need to be replaced, I'm doing this for you. We're going to go ahead and put this belt back on here using this little diagram. Remember, outside, inside, outside. And you know that some of your wheel pulleys have uh, grooves, a track for these rubber parts to run, for these grooves to run through. And the other ones line up against the, the pulleys that are actually flat, like this. So let's do this. The way I do it. Put it around the alternator first, and then I put it around this belt down here, this wheel down here in the back, and then I bring it around to the inside, and it's going to be a real tight fit, but there is enough space for both of them to pass through each other, pass by each other. I'm going to bring what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead because I've got these two and I got these two and I need to get these two. Go ahead and take the, the wheel, the belt back off around the alternator. Give yourself some slack. And now we got it around the front pulley. And now everything is covered. How long has this taken so far? Yep. Walking in the right position on all the pulleys. So now all we have to do is just use our little wrench. We put our 19 millimeter back onto the uh, belt tensioner pulley. We take our 17 mil and put it back, making our torque bar. And we pray. Now, I don't know about you. That just took me four minutes and 40 seconds to do. Four minutes and 40 seconds that took me to do. You can't do this? Sure you can. I said before.
This is the alternator. Not sure what that is. This is the air compressor down here. You have the belt tensioner and uh, two stationary pulleys right here and there. I just drew a diagram of all of it, the way the belt travels around it. That's what you do before that. And this belt, this diagram took me about a minute to compose. Not even that long. It's very simple. You just have to have the discipline to take care of it and not try to rush through it and use all the right tools. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the show. And this is uh, completing this instruction and in how to remove and replace your belt tension, your serpentine belt, which helps your car to go vroom vroom. Thanks, and uh, the Lord is good, and have a blessed day.